Hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics, to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 too, in spite of the three waves of Corona, with uh, fourth wave, fifth wave, whatever, in pipeline. The all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist and good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with uh, ecstasy, reborn again and in fan for my 187th video, 187, on unveil of publication on YouTube today, 19th October 2022, Wednesday. The topic for today is rechargeable battery technologies, Buhu not Bain. All of you know that uh, these rechargeable batteries are uh, used in all kinds of uh, electrical, electronic devices, especially so-called cell phones, mobile phones, electric vehicles, etc. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal, so we live through uh, our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever having published 187 videos so far, including this one, for the benefit of society, that too, absolutely free. Battery, a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy, a device that produces electricity, may have several primary or secondary cells arranged in parallel or series, series, a storage device for storing and discharging electrical, electrical power as required, he is composed of one or more electrochemical cells, battery types, primary cells are non-rechargeable, secondary cells are rechargeable by application. Rechargeable battery, a battery capable of getting recharged, charging and discharging are reversible process, basically it's a one-way process, either it should be charged or discharged, but not both at the same time. Types of rechargeable batteries, aluminum ion battery, calcium battery, flow battery, lead acid battery, glass battery, lithium ion battery, lithium metal battery, magnesium ion battery, metal, air, electrochemical cells, malt and salt battery, microbial fuel cell, nickel cadmium battery, nickel hydrogen battery, nickel iron battery, nickel lithium battery, nickel zinc battery, organic radical battery, polymer based battery, polysulfide bromide battery, potassium ion battery, rechargeable alkaline battery, sand battery, silver zinc battery, silver cadmium battery, sodium ion battery, sodium sulfur battery, so solid state battery, super ion battery, wet cell, zinc, ion battery. Rechargeable technologies. Lithium ion battery consists of two electrodes, a positive and negative, which are separated. All batteries are positive and negative, cathode and out, anode cathode, which are separated by means of a separator and the electrolyte. The separator is generally a fine sheet of polyethylene. Uh, polypropylene whose main function is to prevent short circuit between the two electrodes. I am doing some editing side by side. Higher battery potential and higher energy density is compared to the previous generations of batteries. Example, lead acid, nickel, metal hydride, lithium ion batteries represented a real technological breakthrough. Lithium is light and hence these batteries are also light. The lead acid battery was developed by Raymond Louis Gaston Plant in 1860. This became the basis for the first uh, usable rechargeable battery. Despite other forms of rechargeable batteries, the lead acid battery is still very common in a wide range of applications. Rechargeable alkaline batteries are, can be classified into four principal types. The first type has a nickel oxide carbon electrode and an iron ox anode, and are commonly referred to as ion, nickel ion batteries. Second type also have a nickel oxide cation electrode, but the anode is composed of cadmium, so that these batteries are commonly called nickel cadmium. NiCad, uh, 
batteries. More recently, nickel hydrogen and the commonly successful, commercially successful nickel metal hydride (NiMH) batteries have found favor for many applications. Sodium batteries are of interest because of the low mass, non-toxicity, and low cost due to the abundance of sodium. These batteries have potential for high specific energy and are mostly being considered for grid storage applications. They are however also capable of explosion. So care in their use must be taken such as not using an aqueous electrolyte. They have a high operating temperature so use outside of large stationary applications will be limited. One of the most promising sodium batteries is a sodium sulfur NaS battery. It has a very high energy density, a long life, low maintenance and uh, high efficiency. Flow batteries can also be considered as a type of fuel cell or a battery. Fuel cell hybrid, though they run on an external fuel source, they are charged and discharged like a battery. Nano board lithium tungsten batteries working on battery anode materials, researchers at uh, NI Technologies. NI Technologies incorporated added tungsten and carbon multilayered nanotubes that bond to the copper anode sub substrate and build up with a web-like web nanostructure that forms a huge surface for more ions to attach to during recharge and discharge cycles that makes recharging the nanobolt lithium tungsten battery faster. And it also stores more energy. Zinc manganese oxide batteries, a team based at DOE's Department of Energy in US, Pacific Northwest National Laboratory found an unexpected chemical conversion reaction in a zinc manganese oxide battery. If that process can be controlled, it can increase energy density in conventional batteries without increasing the cost. That makes the zinc manganese oxide battery a possible alternative to lithium ion and lead acid batteries, especially for large scale energy storage to support the nation's electricity grid zinc manganese oxide batteries. Algono silicon electrolyte batteries, a problem with the lithium batteries is the danger of the electrolyte catching fire or exploding. Searching for something safer than the carbonate based solvent system in lithium ion batteries, University of Wisconsin Madison in US chemistry professors Robert Hammers, Hammers and Robert West developed organosilicon based liquid solvents. The resulting electrolytes can be engineered at the molecular level for industrial, military and consumer lithium ion battery markets. Gold nanowire gel electrolyte batteries, researchers at the University of California Irvine in US experimented with the gels, which are not combustible as liquids, they tried coating gold nanowires with the manganese dioxide and covering them with the electrolyte gel. While nanowires are usually too delicate for to use in batteries, these had become resilient. When the researchers changed the result, charge the resulting electro electrode, they discharged that it went through 200,000 cycles without losing its ability to hold a charge. That compares to 6,000 cycles in a conventional battery. Tank to string cell batteries. A barrier to the use of electric vehicles, EVs, is a slow recharging process. String cell battery contains a collection of small independent self organizing cells. Each string cell consists of plastic enclosure covered with a conductive material that allows it to quick, quickly and easily form contacts with others. An internal processing unit controls the connections in the electrochemical cell. To facilitate quick charging of an EV, the little balls contained in the battery are sucked out and swabbed for recharge cells at the service station. At the station, the cells can be recharged at off-peak hours. Lithium, ion, lithium air provides an exciting new frontier because this battery pro prom promises to show far more energy than is possible with the current lithium ion technologies. Scientists borrow the idea from zinc air and the fuel cell in making the battery breathe air. And that's why it is called the air. It's a very peculiar this thing. The battery uses a catalytic air cathode 
that supplies oxygen and electrolyte on a lithium anode. Lithium metal has long been seen as a future rechargeable battery because of its high specific energy and good loading capability. However, uncontrolled lithium deposition causes dendrite growth that induces safety hazards by penetrating the separator and producing an electrical shock. Dry battery electrode. Maxwell Technology has developed a dry battery electrode that could increase the specific energy of lithium ion by 50 percent to 300 volt hours per kg with the potential to 500 volt hours per kg at set cost savings in manufacturing max well borrows the dry coating method from manufacturing super capacitors batteries pack high energy density in limited space and convenient to carry and use cost per unit of electric power is high inherent safety hazards do exist with any type of battery people need to be trained and sensitized how to use these batteries especially rechargeable batteries they explode while charging since people think it can be charged and discharged at the same time never discharge reversible batteries fully and once they are fully charged electrical power supply should be turned off besides recharging the two in real quick time leads to overheating and as a result batteries explode and people lose their precious lives it has happened so many times with uh, people using smart uh, cell phones safe disposal practices even vehicles explode in the house and all that when they are recharging at night time and all that. safe disposal practices need to be made mandatory for any type of battery since they contain plenty of harmful chemicals hazardous to humans animals and nature and the damages caused are not reversible certainly batteries are not environmental friendly so my ultimate decision conclusion is batteries are more of a bane than a boom negatives are much more than the positives overall so it is better not to use rechargeable batteries especially debates discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever anyway well, let me pull the plug here we'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic some of the statements used expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of personal experience always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute 100 percent comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times over i have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum today i must have taken maybe eight minutes this time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewers attention as a norm stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel covid 19 and prolong your life lead a healthy life God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural, unnatural, maybe bio war and cyber war events like uh, pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays away for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on the earth for no fault of others. Rest in peace and harmony.